In space, no one can hear you fart. I know, I've tried it. Hey! What's up, my peoples? MGO here, the freaking geek himself, and today we will be reviewing the 5-2 Toys of Mega Box Alien. So here we are, and there he is, and first and foremost, as always, we'll take a quick look at the packaging right up front here. We have a nice image of the alien from the movie Alien. On the side of the box, we just have a schematic image there of the alien Mega Box. On the bottom, caution, don't eat anything in this box that could be very bad for you. I'll count it. Up top, I have absolutely love this. Hey, what's that? Ah! Oh, that's unfortunate. But on the back of the box, we have some schematic images there, things and stuff that I cannot read. A QR code. You want to scan it? Go ahead. Free scan on me. You're welcome. And that's basically it for the packaging. And moving right along, here we have the alien from Aliens, our little xenomorph buddy here from 5-2 Toys, part of their Mega Box line, and here he is, and he looks cool. He's a cute little, a cute little bundle of murder. Yes, yeah, 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 anyway. But let's get in close here so we can take a look at that noggin. Um, I love the tinted transparent plastic they used here for the headpiece. You can see the skull in there. Looks very cool. See the detail in there as well. See the teeth done in a nice silver. They get some nice molded detail throughout. Got some big old shoulder pads going on there. But yeah, some nice detail going on. No fingies. And big old feet. And the tail here. Got some spikes on the back. And big old head. But overall. A nice little design here. Now articulation-wise, on um, the head is on a ball joint. You do also have multiple hinges in here as well, so you can get it sitting forward. You can do a little squirrel. You can totally do all that. Head can rotate. You can do a full 360. All of that good stuff. The mouth can open and close, but we'll save that for a little bit later because there's a gimmick in there. On um, the arms can do a full 360. Can move in and out. You got forward and back as well. Um, shoulder pads can move in and out if you need them to. Um, elbows, you get 90 degrees of bend there. Um, as far as the wrists go, the wrists are on a hinge. I allow them to move up and down. The hand itself is on a ball joint, so you have your wiggly waggly. Inward, rotation. Um, the fingers are just on a hinge at the base. They can just move in, can move out. Uh, nothing at the waist. Uh, legs are on a ball joint. Can go forward, that far, back, that far, outward. Uh, you don't get too much outward movement. And you get rotation there as well. You can have the hips sitting high or low, depending on what you want there. You do have a double jointed knee, so you have a nice range of movement there, both ways, really. You can break his legs if you want to. Give him a little digitigrade if you want, however you want. As always, your toy displayed however you wish. And the feet are on the ball joints. You have up, down, side to side, rotation, wiggly waggly. You also have a toe joint, and also the heel can move. That'll be support any posing. And back here, you do have a poseable tail. You have a hinge at the base. Hinge there, hinge there, hinge there, hinge there. And a little hinge right here. So you can have that tail. Pretty much moving however you want. No side to side, unfortunately. But as far as upward and downward movement, you can pretty much have it positioned however you wish. Now, as far as accessories go, uh, you do get the uh, Xenomorph egg here. Which has some nice detail. And you can open the egg. We have these four hinges. You can see you get some pink in there. Overall, pretty cool. And you also get what comes out of the egg. You get the face hugger. It's done in a very mega boxy style. It looks quite, quite nice. I like the paintwork here. Gonna highlight those details, looks quite nice. And there's the underside, also has some detail as well. Um, Articulation-wise, you just have a hinge here, which is more for transformation. But you have a hinge there, and a hinge there, and a hinge there, so you can get that tail. Give a little bit of movement there to that tail, if you want. Now granted, the, the uh, face hugger doesn't actually fit in the egg, but you know, you can still maybe get it posed in some way, some kind of dramatic way, I don't know, things you can do. If you wanna do it, you can figure it out. And you also get the chest Burster, you can see. Nicely detailed for being such a small piece. Looks like he's, he's smiling. He's smiling. Look at that. But nicely done. This is made totally out of rubber, so he's just bendy. 
there you go. You get all the stages of the Xenomorph right here, which is pretty cool. And for comparison, uh, here is the alien with the Predator. And they look quite nice together, don't they? Oh, they make a cute couple. So. There you go. And one little gimmick that our buddy here has is if you open his mouth... Ah! There you go, you get the extra little mouth. <laughs> that pops out. It's spring-loaded. That's pretty cool. I like it. I like it. And then you just push it back in. You kind of start to close his mouth. There's a little tab right here that you pull back. It's been all the way in, so you can close the mouth back up. There you go, you get a little... It's nothing super dramatic, but hey, it's cool. It's still cool that they implemented that into the figure. So there you go. And that is basically it for the alien mode. So let's get down to transformation, shall we? Let's. So first thing we're going to do here is we're going to take the tail and we're just going to collapse it up. You want to take the base of the tail and bring that up first. And then this just accordions all in like so and then you want to take this little section here just bring that down right on top of it like that uh, next thing you're going to do you're going to take the back of the head here and just compress that in like so take the shoulders bring them out and then just use all these hinges here just get that up and bring the head around 180 and collapse that down onto the body so it's sitting like that uh, at this point now you want to take these sections of the shoulder pads and just Bring them up and then you want to bring up these sections and there's a tab slot connection right here so just line that up tab it in line that up and tab it in um, helps to get the legs out of the way here just kind of use those hinges to get the legs out of the way so what you're going to do now is you're going to bend the elbow 90 degrees and then bring the arm up at the shoulder and you have a tab slot connection right here so bring that up and that will tab into place and then you take the hand and just bring it up like that just leave it there for now second verse just like the first bend the elbow and then bring the arm up again helps to kind of get the legs out of the way get out of the way legs there we go oops gotta make sure everything stays tabbed together bring it up and tab that in like that and bring up the hand there you go so at this point now you want to take the legs actually it helps actually you know what? we're gonna leave the hands down it's really what you need to do first actually my mistake leave the hands down so you want to take the legs and you want to bring them out they're on a hinge here that will pop out then you want to bring the leg up and this tab right here will go into a notch that's right there in that little spike so bring that up and that will sit right there like that and you can see how that ends up looking and then you're gonna do the same thing on the other side, just pop that whole hip assembly out and bring that up and that will tab in right there, like so. Then you're gonna take the feet, you're going to rotate them outward and there's a post right here that will go into a port right there. Just bring that up and plug that in, rotate and plug that in right there. So at this point now, we're going to bring in the, uh, the chest burster and we're going to bring in the egg and this is going to go inside the egg I know it's not how the way the way it's supposed to work but it's the way it's working here <laughs> close the egg up you can see there's a tab right here that will go into this slot right in here and that will be the storage for the egg let's get everything lined up plug that in like so, and that's where that's going to live in box mode. So at this point now, we can bring the legs up. You want to fold them up at this hinge here. And you have this rail that's going across the foot. That will go into that notch right here on either side of the leg. Like that. You also want to bring the toes out for now. And just bring that up. Oops. Don't you come undone. How dare you? How dare you? There we go. And just tab all that in at either side. And once you do that, the toes will come up and you have tabs and slots right here. And that will lock all that together like that. So let's bring that up. And that will lock all in like that. And that's how you want that looking there. 
So at this point now, we're gonna bring in the face hugger and it's gonna end up, uh, it's gonna end up hugging his face. That's what, that's what we're gonna do here. So you just wanna fold the tail up, fold the tail up and bring all of this around like so. And this will tab in a couple of places. You have these tabs right here. They'll go into these two slots right up here. You have these tabs, which will go into slots right here on either side. You have multiple connection points. So just get all lined up, plug it all in, plug it all in. You also have some tabs and slots right in here as well. And that will sit like that. And then you just want to kind of curl the fingers in, the hands will tuck in. You have a little tab slot connection right in here in the hand itself. And you also have a tab slot connection that happens right up in here. So just line all that up and plug it in. And just curl those fingers in and just kind of bring all that up. And everything pretty much just falls into place right there. And that's how you want that looking. Now, the last thing you're doing, you're bringing up these sections here. You got a little tab slot connection right in here. Bring that up, bring that up, get all nice and squozen, and there you go. There you have the alien in its box mode. Get a good spin out of him. There he is. There he is in box mode. And again, love how everything gets incorporated into the box mode, all the accessories store in the box mode. Again, just very, very clever engineering going on here. The turn, a little alien, and the face hugger, and the chest burster, and the egg, and everything, getting it all to turn into one shape here, one basic shape. Again, just kudos. Kudos to the engineers. This is just so clever, and I, I love this line. I love it. But there you go. And, of course, you do get... The box charger, in this case we get a neon green box charger, because why not, dare I say why not, see the morph in there, and charge, and yes, this box is resistant to acid blood, so, there you go! So there you have the Mega Box Alien, and uh, yeah, another fun one here from 5-2 Toys. Um, really like it, you know? Um, it looks cool, it's just, just an adorable little thing, and uh, yeah, just overall fun figure to mess with, so. There you go! Now if you would like this or any other 5-2 Toys figures, you can always check out BigBadToyStore.com for availability. There'll be a link in the description down below so you can check that out. You can also check out my Mega Box Beast Box playlist for any reviews you may have missed. Also linked in the description down below so you can check that out as well. And I think that's it, so don't forget to check out M Games, check out Love Peace Paranormal, follow me on Twitter, all of that good stuff down in the description below, and I think that's pretty much all there is to say. So, there is the 5-2 Toys Mega Box Alien, and this is MGO saying, remember, you don't stop playing because you grow old, you grow old because you stop playing. Be geek! Be proud! Bomb in your face!